Chapter 900, Bad End Music. Hello everyone and welcome to yet another episode of the Procrastinators Podcast. Episode 900! Not oh. of this podcast, but of One Piece. I'm, I'm howling the best at the moon ever. about it. Uh, it's just my Discord. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm Best Boy. He's Give and Take. You mean Hypocrite. I don't know who that is, and oh, I will have none of that. I, I guess I'm 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 give and take today. Hello, it's me. Uh, yes, you've been replaced. Oh, you're like uh, Cavendish, who's got like two guys in his one guy, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but they're, but they're both like equally neutral. But they're exactly the same guy. <laughs> yeah. uh, yes, but uh, legally distinct for purposes of uh, rape accusations. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Right, but only that. Oh, okay, here. So here we are. Chapter 900, before we get into that, color page. Color, color page. spread. Looking yeah, this, good. Is, this is really nice. We got all the animals and yeah. and the straw hats, and I think like that's supposed to be a laboon, kind of. Uh, you know, all the whales kind of look like laboon, but I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm just calling it laboon. That's fine. That's fine. I'm and reading, there's a lot of minks here. Yeah, a lot, a lot of minks. Boys. Um, I'm reading on the left, it says, there's a mm. planner drawn by Oda included to support the new semester for students. Yeah, I, just, I, I want just that. Really like the the idea of like yeah, Oda is like the be- the, the the most successful manga author of all time, uh, apparently. Yep. Like I'm just uh, mm-hmm. assuming, and he's like, um, he I'm just gonna do a little, a little fun thing for the kitties. I'm gonna draw a thing for them so they can plan their year. And it's just you know, cute. I love that. In addition to writing literally the greatest shonen series that's ever been created, you know, it is a shonen series and intended generally for young male adult audiences. Or sorry, young male audiences. And they go to school, and they, well, I'm a young male adult, more or less. I guess I'm getting to be a, you know what, I want to talk about it. Um, (laughs) You're (laughs) a fucking old man, Oh, no, I ate the old man, old man fruit. I'm totally fucked. Um, That's how people get old in One Piece. They just eat the old man, old man fruit, and then... Yeah, only one person can be old at a time. At the moment, it's (laughs) really... Yeah, then they drop dead, uh, and then someone else is old. Um... Oh, let's. Uh, hey, uh, here's a cool thing. I like Robin's outfit on this color spread. She's wearing green. She wears sunglasses, copying me because she loves me because she's my wife. That's cool. I know she wears sunglasses. She's ever since the time skip. She's been wearing those sunglasses, and uh, it's good. I, I, it's a good look. It's very classy, very stylish. By the way, does she remind you at all of Miss? Oh, shit, what was her name? It wasn't Miss Wednesday. That's Vivi. All um, Sunday. Uh, no, that's her. That's Robin. You don't think um, the yellow one? The yellow one. Uh, Valentine. Miss, that, that's that's the one, Miss Valentine. Doesn't she kind of look like her here with like the bright colored dress and like the cool, I mean, face. I don't uh, know. <laughs> it's the bright dress. That's okay. You know what? Fuck you. Let's move on. Uh, oh, also, <laughs> I like uh, dresses Chopper's too. there with his waifu. Well, good. Oh, he uh, is. yeah. No, do you though? But look at Chopper with his. Okay, they they've said. I forget the name of this character. Uh, fucking rainy or something. Um, but she's like literally an idol. Of the minx. So she's like literally the hottest slut of all minx. And, and Chopper is a reindeer. Def gonna smash. There is no doubt. And she's a reindeer. She is a reindeer. I know I said this before, like when we were talking about the mink arc and stuff, but I'm just so delighted that Oda wrote in a way for Chopper to fuck in One Piece. Uh, thank yeah. God. Thank you know, God. you know, I'm wondering if he has yeah. a child, will it just mm-hmm. be a reindeer? I mean, it's, I get, like, logically, you would think that the answer is yes. Because, like, he is... He is I a mean, reindeer when, that has a devil fruit. When Chopper becomes... Okay, Chopper's, like, base form is, in fact... Like, every every um, a zone user has, like, a full animal form, a full base form, and then, like, a hybrid. Chopper's, like, normal cutesy form is supposed to be his normal form. Like, his is weird because it's, like, the human fruit. Well, it's kind of n- no, I, I think the he just uses the cutesy form because mm-hmm. he likes it and he doesn't want to be reminded of his dark past of being an actual reindeer. Like yeah, his his his, his real form is the running point or whatever. Man, remember how fucking hardcore the 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 Hero Luck flashback was when like Chopper has to go like past his original reindeer tribe that he was kicked out of because he had a blue nose. Uh, oh no, he was actually kicked out after he ate the human human fruit because he became a full on freak. But like he walks back, but he was always shunned because he had a blue nose. He walks back and like the fucking judgmental looks of all these just they're just reindeer they're just reindeer like hating chopper one of their own who they fucking kicked out because he got fucked up and was a double freak fucking hardcore it was fucking <laughs> brutal 
Uh, literally the most black pilled chapter of all of One Piece. Shop um, of the blue nosed reindeer. That's the he one. He is a doctor. <laughs> he will <laughs> fix you up with a uh, pills. And drugs. Uh, anyway, I hope Chopper sees her again soon and fucks shit out of her. Looking forward to that. Yes. Uh, I'm looking forward to the say. hardcore nice. sex scene with Chopper. Indeed. Uh, although, I, I guess just while I'm, while I'm fucking looking at this, I, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the other notes on this color spread. Like, the one at the top, one of them says, like, One Piece novel, A in parentheses, C-E. So, like, a reference to, like, the, I don't know. Ace. It, Ace, obviously. Uh, will go on sale April 4th. Cover drawn by Oda himself, so we're going to get, like, an Ace novel. What's going to be the content of this book? What's going to be It's going to be, it, oh, I'm, I'm going to assume it's Ace's adventures mm. before he joined the Whitebeard Pirates. But that. not written by Oda. So how seriously do we need to care about it? Um, at all? A not at all. I mean, I don't know. It's like a movie. Like, you don't have to watch them, but there they are. I guess you're right. And, yeah, we, we don't really know need to know anything else about Ace's backstory. Uh, was there anything else here? 900 chapter milestone. Congrats, Oda. You, you've done it. You've done it. There are some series that have gone on longer than One Piece, like a Kochikame. But uh, before too long. Or something. That, oh yeah, is that true? Did Astro Boy go on that? Actually, long? I don't know how long it's been on, but it's one of the oldest. It's probably not as long as this. Yeah, a lot of a lot of uh, Osamu Tezuka's series, like Astro Boy, were short, but he wrote like a million of them. So like, you know, but but whatever. Uh, and also, v Color Walk Volume Eight Wolf is go is like on sale right now. I gotta check that out. I haven't read most of like the Color Walk. Just like there's just like supplemental books. I, I bought like one or two of them when I was in Japan, but um, but you I, can't I gotta read buy them. this. Well, I can sort of make out some of the stuff in Japanese. I think some of them are translated now. Okay, but anyway, enough. all that aside, that's enough about that bullshit. Let's get to the actual chapter 900. And first of all, let me just say, chapter 900. And of course, the name is the... Na oh, no, it's Bad End Musical. Bad I was 100% wrong. Bad they, End they Musical. Were playing, they were playing Undertale, and they got the wrong yeah. ending. They got the sad ending. I mean, we'll talk about that, but... There's some stuff going on here. We we shall get into the meaning of this bad end musical title of this as we go along. Um, but I was completely wrong. Jean Bay did not officially join the crew uh, this chapter. I I was um, so. I had no confidence in that theory. You said, Nate, you're literally 100% right. I completely <laughs> believe you. There can be no doubt that you are correct, my lord and liege. <laughs> These are I your didn't words. I can say I that. remember so clearly. I'll slice you. I'll slice you up the side. <laughs> Um, okay, <laughs> with my sword that I have now, because I'm okay, give and take. I'm a swordsman. I'm not a hippo. Uh, That's right. Zone fruit. I'm a different guy. <laughs> Good. Uh, so here we are, Puffs Island and Big Mom. What we're seeing here, the first thing that happens, boom! The first bite of the cake. Chomp. Big Mom has done it. She has done it. She's yeah. munching and crunching. So and... Uh, everyone's uh, anticipating the reaction, and yep. she takes a big old gulp. Uh, Chiffon has a flashback to Sanji being like, oh, ho, ho, wouldn't it be fucking funny if she liked it? <laughs> you know, this is this is really sweet. Uh, Chiffon's like, oh, no, we got to make the cake real good. And Sanji's like, ah, don't worry, it's going to be fine. She's like, how can you be so calm about this? And he's like, hey, it just makes me happy to think about Big Mom eating this with a big old smile and saying how delicious it is. He's a, he's a very pure man, Sanji. I like Sanji when it comes to cooking stuff. Yeah. I stand by what I said about I wish we could have seen a little more of the cooking. But it's, you know, this is just the classic Sanji. He just wants to feed people, man. He's got a real pure love in his heart for giving people good food. You gotta respect that. Gotta I, respect that. I, I'm just laughing internally about like the, the mm -hmm. bottle that Sanji is holding. And I'm thinking, yeah. we can't see what's on the bottle. What if it was rat poison? And he's just putting <laughs> it in. And he's like, uh, <laughs> this will kill her. <laughs> <laughs> and he makes that face. It's just like, she'll say it's delicious and then she'll die. Oh, very funny. It's very funny. Uh, um, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, yeah and, here, and, stuff. He, and here it is the one. Big Mom ate it. She goes rin it full rinnegan, falls yeah. backwards, and and there it is. She she we we get we get the money shot of her just being this is it. It's so delicious I could die. And she is just loving life. She's loving her body, and uh, <laughs> she's very happy, very happy. Yeah. How nice. That's a that's nice, nice. That's a nice eye. I like the twinkling on it. I like the, it's very, the tears. It looks good. It looks very nice. Very bishonen. It's, yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's got that. Nice. It's got that funny factor. 
but it's it also does. very serious, and I like. And that it's again, shit. it's the fact that like it's Big Mom's face, and she is not like it's the Big Mom's face, and she's got like world. huge globs of cream all over her face, like a fucking idiot. Yeah, yeah. She's a fucking pig, you know. She's gross, but she's happy, and that's Delicious. that's nice. And here she is. This is it, the wedding cake. Yay! It worked. And and so so what? We, her rage has subsided. She is back to her, you know, relative senses. And so here she is. It's over. They did it. They made the cake and they won. Yeah. Hooray. And Hooray. immediately, I thought I may have thought about this, but maybe I didn't think mm-hmm. about it. But obviously, if she didn't die, they mm-hmm. assume well, there was poison in it, but it doesn't affect her. So they're not That's going they're to saying, immediately yeah. think. Oh, the Straw Hats did a good thing. Somebody will have to tell them, or they will you're never right. know. You're right. You're. I think you're right, and I think that will be plot relevant in the future. But yeah, you're definitely right. You're definitely right. And uh, and so then here we have Big Mom just eating the fuck out of this cake, and she's she's having a little bit of a flashback in her brain. She's like, "What does this remind me of? This such deliciousness." Uh, and uh, we just got Prospero just announcing to everyone that uh, we did it, guys. We won the day. Uh, hooray. Big Mom's we, safe. We won. And they're and all they're like, like a- applauding everyone. They're crying. Everyone, everyone yep. of yep. the whole country is, is like, God, thank God, we're not going to get eaten by our Lord and Master, the fucking crazy person. In- indeed. And put we, they're just like, hey, everybody, give thanks to Pudding for saving the day with the help of the traitor Chiffon. Uh, small point. This doesn't really matter, but it's like, hey, I'm, I'm just saying, if somebody teamed up with a traitor to, like, do something, I'd be a little suspicious of him, you know? Like, ooh, you teamed up with a bad boy. Uh, I, I guess we're kind of just brushing past that. It's like, putting save the day, she's good, I guess. It's fine. It's fine. And that's, yeah. that's fine. I mean, if, if this was perhaps a little bit more connivingly minded or politically minded, you might have some thoughts, or like Prospero might say, like, ooh, but maybe Pudding was actually, like, like Chiffon, and, and, like, can we trust her now that she's worked with Chiffon on this? But whatever, who cares? Yeah, I think Pudding is a decent enough reputation that people wouldn't yeah. expect that of her. I guess you're right. And she did save the day, so obviously I guess they're just overcome with gratitude here. They could thank Chiffon as well, I guess, but I guess they just don't like oh, her Oh, but as her much. husband, that awful beige, tried to kill Big Mom. They did attempt to assassinate Big Mom, which is no good. That is no good. Um... But anyway, so we're, we're cutting, we're kind of going through this fast, but there's not a lot of detail there's beyond the, what we're yeah, saying Yeah, there's not here. a lot of, of, of yeah. stuff to talk about until the end. Um, right. But the Sun Pirates are all, like, splishing, splashing around, and they're attacking yep. all the ships, and they're, you know, they're strong. They're fish mm-hmm. boys. They've got big fish muscles, and they're punching they're the, all these blowing ships. Blowing up these fucking ships. You know, it makes, this is, this is probably the first time we've ever seen, like, uh, fishmen like, in a real battle fighting against, like, boats. And, like, of course. I mean, Gene Bay's done that once or twice himself. Uh, but, of course, like, they're going to be fucking juggernauts. Like, they have all the advantages in, like, sea combat against boats. Fucking, and here they go. With, bam, they put a hole in the bottom of a ship. They're done. Imagine if there's Devil Fruit users on that ship, which I'm sure there will be because this is Big Mom's fucking crew. Uh, all dead. <laughs> very good. Very effective. Yeah. Nice work. And uh, they, they made a path. Jimbei's about to to swindle his wheel, go, to turn, go straight into the straight just line. Just go straight, literally not do anything. All Jinbei has to do is not fuck up anything. Uh, but and so far so good. To to his credit, so far so good. Yeah, I don't know where's Master Oven coming through. I guess this just they just had another mirror. They must have. Yeah, they just like they they broke every mirror on Chocolate Island. But oh yeah, he this, went to a this different is on a different island, island right. I guess. Yeah, yeah. Well, wait. Uh, Puffs Island. Puffs Island. Oh, so... Oh. I had, well, well, there, I there was wondered, one mirror. I yeah, wondered go, about, go. like, how Oven had, like, done his attack in a few panels. Yeah. But it turns out, like, he went to an island that they were going past. Like, they had been getting away for a while. That, and they that's had right. come he, close to a different island, and then he came to that one. Yeah, I, I'm not exactly sure which island it is, but, th- yeah, that, that's what's happening. Uh, so Oven shows up. And he is real mad that someone has defeated Katakuri. They're just they're just taking it now. It's like a known fact that Luffy has defeated Katakuri. There's no doubt. And so Luffy and the gang, including Jinbei, are just running away right now. And like the Aladdin and his boys are like, we'll see you later, Captain Jinbei. Uh bye. <laughs> uh, but then Oven here is doing his his big old extremely effective attack, hot sea hell, and just literally turning the ocean into like a boiling inferno. Uh, yeah, it really. This it is really a sick is, attack. Um, it's a really cool attack. It sort of reminds me of how 
um, mm. Aokiji could just like touch the water and like a huge Ooh, amount of yeah. it would just suddenly become ice. You like, know this what? Power I just realized. Quite far. Uh, not to divert or anything, but you know, we always say that some devil fruits have like strength and weaknesses against each other. Oven would be extremely effective against Aokiji's powers. He's like the literal opposite. Um, cool. Pretty cool. Only Ovens is a paramecia, so he doesn't have the low advantages. Yeah, it wouldn't advantages. be pretty cool. It'd be pretty hot. Pretty yeah, hot. Yeah. Oh, oh, very true. Very good. Uh, very good. Um, well, cool. Well, cool. And so, like, uh, oh, God, we're watching the fucking fishmen who are in the water, like, uh, like say an ouch, uh, sizzle. <laughs> they say ouch sizzle, quite sizzle. big. <laughs> the big uh, boy. Like, look at fucking um, Watatsumi out there. Yeah, Jesus Watatsumi Christ. He has to fucking leave. He, he swims down to avoid it. So this is not like an infinite range thing. Like the whole ocean is now fire. It's, it's got a limited range here. So that's... Well, yeah, man, obviously. if you just think about the sheer... I, I'm getting a little nerd physics boy. But the sheer amount of like... I forget what it's called. Um, there's, a, there's a unit of measure that me measures like energy. Ke ke kegels? No, it's not kegels. <laughs> it's not fucking kegels. Um, that sounds like a whatever cereal. Whatever it is. Joules. I think joules is the word I was thinking of. How many joules of energy is oven fucking outputting into this ocean? That is Kegels. a serious <laughs> amount. Well, yeah, I know it's fine, but it's named for like joules. Is like I know, I know. Something. It's just like the, yeah, uh, yeah joules. And I'm just, um, conversely, I was always very impressed by how many joules of energy uh, Aokiji must be sucking out of the water to freeze it that fast. Uh, all, very powerful. That's all I'm saying. Devil it's cool. I like it. Are Devil so strange. They're it's really like good. they won't work in real life. I don't know about you. Um, correct. <laughs> well, so here we go. Uh, Big Mama. Here oh she yeah, is. and uh, this is one thing I had completely forgot about. Big Mom yeah. has a main ship, the the Queen Mama Chanta or whatever he says. Yeah, that's right. And that's that's the ship that arrives in a few in a, in a couple of pages. Mm -hmm. uh, but before we get to that, yes, uh, we got the meme face. We got the the funny. That, the, we got the that funny meme face. Funny <laughs> face. Oh, I mean, even the one no. before it is also funny. It's like these are all pretty hilarious. But that that I mean, the big one is like hmm, decadent. Oh, mm. yes. Nice. Um, <laughs> embarrassing. Very good. Embarrassing. <laughs> I love everything about Big Mom. I love everything <laughs> about Big Mom, uh, including how ridiculous and silly she is. Uh, I fucking love her. She's like one of my favorite characters in all of One Piece. I'm yeah. so thrilled with how well they've actualized this like incredibly goofy cartoony character, but who is one of the most powerful people in the world with her like literally horrific nightmarish level of strength and powers. Uh, yeah, this this next bit happier. is like really quite it's quite unsettling the way it's it super plays unsettling. Out. Yeah. So she starts uh, singing about this deliciousness. What is this dreamy taste? It's what my is this dreams. dreamy taste? No, it's beyond my wildest dreams. I can't even find the words to describe it. I'm not uh, gay. I just like cake. <laughs> I look forward to seeing this in the anime, of seeing how they handle this. Like they yes, did with Big this Sake. Would be, this would, yeah, because yeah. you can't really sing a Japanese song in English. It doesn't. I could syllables. tell that some of the... I mean, yeah, that's true. The translation issues and whatnot. They'll have to localize it. I could tell that, like, okay, so from the very start here, we get a shot of she, so she's singing this song, and, like, her homies start to, like, march in step, and I get what's happening, is that, like, in, canonically within One Piece, I think a musical, like, is happening now, uh, and, like, like, I think all the, the lockstep of all, like, the, the homie soldiers, I think it's saying that, like, and we'll see this in other pages, like, all the homies that are connected to Big Mom's soul, they're all, like, across the world. They're all, like, marching to this song that, like, is bursting out of Big Mom right now. They're all kind of Oh, because they're connected to sinking. it and they're all singing at the same That's time. That's what I think is happening, yeah. I mean, we'll have to see, but uh, I'm not... And, you know, that, I was going to say, I'm not sure how much of this is real and how much is a literal dream from this point on. Because, like, the first thing that happens is that Big Mom starts to eat this cake, we zoom into her mouth, and then suddenly we're like in a forest, a fucking pet cemetery. Like that can't be real, can it? There's got uh, this is must be like fake or something. I mean, like metaphorical. I don't know whether that's metaphorical. Or, I mean, I, I I can assume it's like the sort mm -hmm. of thing that would become real because of Big Mom's powers. Like sh she has this dream and this fantasy, but all of her homies are actually doing this because they're connected to her. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't, I, I, this is one of those things where the, a manga is kind of a tough medium to parse exactly what's happening. Um, Dude, look at I don't all know. those we'll just, flowies. A lot of, a lot of flowies. A lot of undertales going oh, on undertales. around here. 
Uh, well, I mean, in any case, uh, just continuing on, they, they, she's just singing this song, you know, about so, yeah, so goofy sweet, shit. so and milky, so velvety and risky. Now, obviously, this wordplay to make it like in in Japanese that makes more sense because risky is a weird yeah. word to use there. I don't mm-hmm. know, I don't know. And but, like, um, we, the, the, I don't there's know. I, in, it's it's kind uh, of yeah. like hard to understand like what the risky is supposed to sound like. Like, what's risky about uh, the taste of the cake? Yeah. In uh, well, what, does uh, okay, that make I think sense? she just. I, I, <laughs> I, I'm not sure that the lyrics are 100% in tune with what's happening, but like. So. Like, the, well, the, I feel we, what it is is like, it's like yeah. nakama. Like, it's a word that in Japanese doesn't really have a clear translation that would make more sense if we knew exactly That's what possible. it's supposed to be. If I could see this in Japanese, maybe I could parse it. Uh, I don't know what the Japanese word was for it, though. Um, but, like, we can clearly see, like, everything's, like, fun. Yay, we're having fun. Everything's delicious. But then, like, this risky panel is, like, dark all of a sudden. And we see, like, her creepy face with, like, the fucking drool and spit dribbling down and stuff. And then, if I'm not mistaken, we see cannons fire. And I think that is the uh, Sun Pirate ship just blew up. I think oh, that's yeah, what that, happened. that would make sense. I believe, yeah, like, it, it, it's, I, I went back and read this a bunch of times to, like, try to tell what ship was where, like, l- like uh, logistically speaking. I couldn't actually tell, but I think what happened is that they just blew up the Sun Pirate ship. Because we see, like, the, the Fishmans, they're, like, hanging out there. We see cannons fire. Something blows up. And it's clearly supposed to be intimidating and scary. So I think that's what's going on here. Um... Yeah. yeah, that's that's so the best thing. This is Big Mom's uh, homie clown f- boy ship. Yep. And it's it's huge, and here it is. I don't know what it was doing all this time. I guess it was just off having a fucking funny uh, adventure. Doing other stuff. I mean, they say in this chapter, like, ah, it's finally arrived. So I guess it was doing something else in the meantime. I guess it was just somewhere else. I but guess so. I guess they thought they didn't need it. For whatever reason, they it wasn't like around for the wedding. It is I mean, it could have just why. been at one of the like remote islands of the thing or something. Like, because they've only they've only well, you know what? It has been hours that they have been sailing on these seas, like avoiding Big Mom and stuff. Um, well, whatever. It can take hours for some place for some. Maybe this ship was literally like out starting like other missions, like unrelated to the wedding, and well, like it just came back for this. I don't know. It would be pretty funny if, like, the homie that is the ship can just sail himself. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. He is alive. He's definitely he alive. Saying, ship, 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 he's ship. saying it. Hey, and I think he's, I think he and the rest of the homies, this chapter, are, like, actually singing. Uh, it's a little hard for me to tell. Um, but then, no, I think, I think that's just it, Big Maybe Mom. it's just Big Mom. It's it just, could Big just Big Mom singing Mom. this thing uh, over, like, a montage of what's happening. All the all the big mom pirates are like, yeah, we did it. It's all fucking, and they got the the Germa, uh, killer bullets in the in the Gatling gun. They're shooting well, let me the Germa. Okay, here's my hardcore analysis for why I think both the homies and Big Mom are singing as an experienced. Oh, the Monica. homies might be singing, but the uh, I thought you meant the crew. The, the crew no, I, I just mean the homies. I just mean the homies, and it's just because if you look on page on Jaimini's box, page fourteen, you can see like. Like, on the panel where we see the ship there, we see one speech bubble that has just got a single, like, silhouette on the right, or a single line surrounding it. And on the left, there's, like, the two lines, which generally indicates, like, another person, like, a different person to sing, or it might be coming over, like, a speaker or something. So that's either, I think that's, like, Big Mom and the homies, like, who are in physically different locations, are, like, singing together. That's what I think is going on. Um, Yeah. Yeah, that's it. (laughs) That's what I got. So I mean, okay. So then we got we got our big ship boy, uh, just blew up. What appeared to be the Sun Pirate ship. Uh, we see Mount Dor. Mon Dor is just really excited about something. They said that they've acquired bullets that will hurt the Germa. And then I'm not sure exactly how, but all of a sudden there's a gun on the Chocolate Island on on, on Chaco Island or whatever. I guess it was on its way. A big ceremony. She sings as they just fucking riddle the Germa with bullets. And we can see them bleeding on the next page. They seem hurt pretty fucking bad. Uh, ouch. Ouch. Yeah, I mean, they, they already had the gun, I think, but um, they, they were just... They got the bullets or something They got now, the bullets now. Yeah, they said okay, something maybe about that's we've, we've got a search, got, got the Germa killing bullets. Which have been established before, earlier in this arc, so that's real. We know that's yeah. real. I, I'm sure Oda was building to, to like, this moment or something. Uh, but and in, the, in the song... And- 
Yeah, yeah go she's ahead, go singing ahead. about it, and she's like, what does this remind me of? Oh, yes, that's right. The taste of the happiness from her sixth birthday when she that's fucking right. ate everyone. She remembers back. She remembers Mother Caramel. She remembers to that day when she devoured everyone. And they're just, she, like, she has all these weird, like, creepy, happy memories. It's a spe- I mean, it's not that creepy for her, but it's super creepy for us, knowing what happened at this birthday party. Jesus. Just, like, the, hor- the sheer unimaginable horror of what happened at that birthday party as she one by one devoured all her friends. Uh, seriously, fuck. I love how macabre it all is. I fucking love it. Yeah. But, like, here in Big Mom's world... She's just singing like, yay, I want to eat again, la la la, together, we'll eat the sweet cake. And she's like, in her mind, is like literally flying with like all her friends as if they were still alive. And she wasn't responsible for all of their deaths. Yeah. Not it's, intentionally, it's really, but with it's sort her of madness. Like, yeah. It's sort of like the, the juxtaposition of all the death that's happening to the, mm-hmm. the German and the straw hats. Is she's singing about happy times and, uh, you know, all these kids that she ate and yep. she doesn't know. It's It's really like... This is Big Mom the chapter. This is like the the psychopath, yeah. murderous like mind of a child monster yeah. that she is. I love in, it in one so chapter. Good. Uh, we see we see uh, the Germa HQ getting blasted to fuck again. I mean yeah. the, the place is still intact, but big damage. We see all the fucking uh, Germa guys getting blown the fuck out of this, so they look like they're fucking in trouble. We see uh, uh, judge, judge. Fighting, uh, facing off against an unknown guy with a sword. I maybe. think that's Snack. I think that's Snack, based on how Snack looked by the silhouette. Oh, you're, you're right. It probably I, is. I'm not 100 percent sure, but I think so. Um, I mean, we'll, I feel we'll, like I something, will something's see. definitely going to happen with them. Uh, yeah, I think so. Maybe not that important, but it, it like this is an implication that there's more to this than yeah. just he's going to die. We, we will see. We will see. I mean, the song continues, uh, a place where no race is rejected, a peaceful world, but if you try to leave, I'll kill you. And then the fucking cannons all go off. They're like, a deal with the devil, peaceful Tato land. And then they fucking blow up the fucking uh, Thousand Sunny. As far as we can tell, this chapter ends with Big Mom in a hallucinogenic state, freaking out about how delicious and wonderful life is, how much she loves being an insane, mind-of-a-child, super-powered freak, and blowing up the Thousand Sunny. And just being like, thank you for the meal. That was delicious. We see, and the final panel is the fucking Straw Hats flag yeah. in the goddamn ocean. So we gotta, we gotta dissect this thing and parse right. what the fuck just happened. Well, I think... The yeah. ship is definitely big damage, but mm-hmm. I don't think, sh- uh, like, if if they s- salvage it, I don't think it's unrepairable, obviously. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, they might uh, they might have to make, like, some some design changes here, and there'll be, like, an, a, a, an excuse <laughs> to change, like, some of the things. Maybe. But um, as for, like, what happened to them, mm-hmm. I can only assume that uh, they escaped under the water. Okay. I can only it, assume that the fishermen grabbed them and, and, and took them as far as they could. The implications they're not, of this... like, in that explosion, unless they're Pedro, <laughs> in which case they'll be fine. Uh, that, was, that was just Pedro blowing up. It's fine. Um, Happens okay. all the time. The implications of what happened in this chapter, or what's hinted at happening, force me to bring in my knowledge of meta, uh, which I don't like to do unless it's necessary. Okay, question. Is it at all likely that the Straw Hats were all killed here today. I mean, no. We can put that aside. That did not happen. Okay. Is it at all likely that the Sunny actually got seriously damaged or horribly disfigured in some way? To me, that's a a pretty hard no. I don't Um, think that's likely to happen in one piece. I think, Mm -hmm. well... I mean, we can't... Well, we we can see that the the Straw Hat flag, it was the Thousand Sunny that was blowed up. Well, okay, I, I honestly think that Oda... I, I think what is going to happen here is one of two things. Both of them are bad writing. Um, there's there's a propensity in the series JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, for example, and, and this actually happened earlier in this arc, where characters take what looks like lethal or extremely terrible damage, like phys- like in fights, uh, like get shot horribly or ma- mangled horribly or something, and then just later on it turns out that the damage wasn't that bad. And that happened in this arc with Luffy and the slash to the side with Katsukuri. I think, and if you look at the last page, the panel there looks like it is intending to show that there is wreckage of a ship 
and that whatever ship just got blown up is like completely destroyed. That appears to be what is being. I mean, I can here. still see a bit of a structure, and I think it's definitely going to sink all the way down. Well, but I think, but I think what well, okay, you know, I know you're going to say a second thing, but I think mm -hmm. if it sinks, Watatsumi is going to carry it, and he's going to take it safe somewhere. I 100% do not believe that in real One Piece, the Thousand Sunny will actually be like damaged in a serious way, and I say that because of like the toy lines that exist and the sort of narrative focus that has been put on the Thousand Sunny as like the ship that will make Luffy King of the Pirates. Uh, and, like, because of those reasons, I do not believe that the Thousand Sunny is going to be damaged in any major way. And I, I, narratively, I wouldn't even mind. I would kind of like it if it was. But I just do not believe it's something that Oda would do. Or that, like, the editors would, like, allow to happen. Because uh, there's so much, there's so much like, tied into the design of that ship. Um, that is what I think. So I think one of two things is happening here. One is, like, with the Katsukuri Slash or with, like, the JoJo shit... That what what appears to be happening this chapter will not actually be what it looks like when we see next chapter. Like we'll see the ship like damaged, but like generally okay, probably like scarred. But like it's just that this last panel really looks like it's fucking wrecked. But I there's no way that's true. Um, so it's either an illusion, I mean, like an optical I, illusion. I'll, yeah, no way is an illusion. That would be. I, bad I mean, writing. I think it's just like that's the thing. <sighs> Well, okay, so maybe maybe you'll agree with this. This chapter has been full of Big Mom's dreams, and people have been talking about this, and some people are poo-pooing this idea, but how likely is it that some, if not a majority of the things that happen in this chapter are literally dreams that Big Mom had well, in her Well, the reason I would state? immediately shoot that down is because yeah. of the, like, the, the things we see her dreaming about are happy, fun times... That's true. And she's far away from this stuff that's happening, and the mm -hmm. the idea is to cut between Big Mom having a happy time and the harsh reality of what her like, you know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what her crew is capable of. Um. Yeah. Like, don't get me wrong. I don't think that would be a good way to write things. I I certainly do not. Uh, because it's unclear and confusing and weird. Just like most of the stuff that people were. Whenever you bring in like. Like, all the stuff with the Katakuri Future site made things very strange uh, with how it was just hard to parse because we don't have a firm grasp of, like, the rules of observation hockey and the way that, like, Katakuri and Luffy were, like, answering each other, like, in the future, knowing what each other was going to say was 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 tough to parse. It was tough to parse. Like, you can do it. You can go back and, I, you know, I generally think I got it figured out. But it was, it was tough to read in the moment. And we had all these theories about, like, oh, is this actually happening? Is this happening in the future? For all those reasons, for a series like One Piece, I don't think it's really a great way to, to, to do things. Uh, this isn't an intellectual series like Bleach or anything. Um, so I, I don't think that's likely. I think personally, one of the theory I'm going with is I think that the damage just isn't as serious as it looks here, which is a little bit hacky writing, in my opinion. Um, I think there are I, ways to do it that are slightly less dishonest. But maybe I'll be wrong. Maybe I will simply be I, wrong. I, I think you're wrong. Mm -hmm. I think the fact uh -huh. that the, the, the flag is just floating on the surface yeah. means that this ship is sinking, but the fact that they have all the fishermen there, and yeah. Wadatsumi specifically, mm -hmm. in order to salvage it and take it away, means that they can repair it and it will be fine. Let's it's just talk about for that, right though. now, this is like a... This is like, where do they go from here? Let's assume that's true, because that's definitely another possibility. So, how bad would you think that the damage to the Sunny is? Uh, I mean, the sort of like thing where you... Like, up? Would... Well, you'd need to, you know, replace a lot of things. Like, she, it, Big Mom already, like, cut it up and ripped it apart a bit. That, you know, that was pretty superficial damage, though. I mean, noth nothing like this. The... Nothing like what appears to be happening now. Well, I mean, I, I wouldn't assume really it's in pieces. I would assume it's, like, maybe in, like, three large chunks that is, like, unable to, oh my God. to float. I just, I just don't see it happening. I just would find that utterly shocking if that turned out to be true. And maybe it will. Maybe Yoda will surprise me. But I... I mean, the fact that I, neither of us are, like, more correct than the other is that the, it's yeah. very obfuscated about what is sinking. I can see, like, a, a brief thing of, like, the mast is sort of sinking and then there's, like, another yeah. stick coming up, which is, like, the cross beam or whatever you call it, yeah. where the sail yeah. is. So at least those two things are connected. 
I don't think it's in literal pieces. I think it's definitely just a sinking ship, and it, it's not seaworthy at the moment. I guess you're right. I, I guess it's just it's kind of a shame to me that things are so ambiguous uh, about... I mean, obviously, that is what he's going for. He literally wants it to be ambiguous right now. He wants us to worry and be concerned about how bad things... And this is the, the, this is chapter 900. He wants us to be like, oh my god, it's chapter 900. Holy shit, can you believe these like unbelievable things are happening right now? Like, the Straw Hats may have all been killed. I mean, you know, the ones who are here. Um, obviously, I don't believe that any, any character who's important has actually been hurt. Um, no. Yeah, I mean, maybe you're right. Maybe the ship is... Uh, if I look at this, I can kind of see that maybe it is true. That, like, the ship like got blown onto its side... And just, like, the waves are kind of obscuring, like, how bad the damage actually is. Maybe even a hole was blown into it on the bottom. Yeah. Uh, but we do know that it's built of atom wood, and atom is a self-regenerating wood. That is, like, what makes it special. Um, mm, I didn't know that. Yeah, that's that's the thing. It can heal the kind of wounds that killed the Sunny, tragically, back in the day when it's, uh, it's like, main the uh, wood Mary, you mean. main piece broke. Yeah, the, the Mary, the Mary, that's right. Um... So, but in other case, I still think that I'm generally right. I think the damage will be not as bad as it looks. Uh, but maybe I'm being a little too critical of Oda. You know, you've only got so many, so many pixels to work with here. He's trying to make things ambiguous and not give away too much and, and keep the mystery going. I, just, I, I think I think the yeah. fact that when it gets blown up, mm -hmm. it's not you don't see pieces flying. You just see one small clump of wreckage. Yeah. That it's implied enough that it's not literally torn to complete shreds and it's salvageable as like a as a shipwreck yeah you know what it is though it's just that like right now reading one piece week to week and now there's there's a break there's a, a week break after this unfortunately oh, so we no. gotta wait even longer i know like it's it's mildly uh, frustrating that like this just happened and i i feel like this is the sort of quote-unquote mystery that's going to last until like page one of the next chapter and then it'll be resolved so it's kind of like a meaningless cliffhanger uh, it's, it's not really substantive, it is, is, is my theory. Maybe I'm totally wrong, and maybe it'll turn out to be, like, more meaningful I, than I... I feel like appears. there's going to be a brief pause, at least, of a few mm -hmm. pages, where, you know, Big Mom is going to arrive, and what, you know, she's like, what happened mm -hmm. here? And then it's going to be revealed that they're okay in some strange way, fashion. Well, let's... Okay, let's talk about... I mean, like, so we, we've been talking about, like, Big Mom uh, possibly, like being happy with these guys or like deciding like you know what maybe we won't kill them after all because they helped us uh you know blah 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 all that stuff so like, i think it's still possible now, but it doesn't seem like that's where it's going i agree that, that's pretty much how i feel it is still possible it could still happen but based on what happened this chapter it looks like we're going a more grim dark route which i quite like i quite like but uh yeah, we'll she see. is just like, a monster that needs to die. I'll say that, yeah, pretty, and, and that's great. I love that. And she will not suffer for the things that she has done because she is too powerful. God, I love that. That's so fucking black-pilled. Um, <laughs> I will say, though, that, like, if they end up friends with Big Mom, even in a, in a casual way, it would sort of make, like, for example, Brooke's sacrifice meaningless where he, like, he miraculously was able to get the Poneglyph, uh, like, sketch. So, like, if they just became even tacit friends with Big Mom by the end of this, then, like, Br Brooke probably could have just waltzed in there then and gotten it. But but because, I, because of well, the way things I have mean, gone... I think I, that the idea of friendship was yeah. mostly just because I wasn't sure how, you know, mm -hmm. another, like, Kaido could be beaten with just the Straw Hats or, yeah. like, a, but, you know... Mm -hmm. Um, like, Yonko versus Yonko would be helpful and, and all that. But I really think, like, the Poneglyph stuff, you steal my Poneglyph, I'll fucking kill you. It doesn't matter how much of a friend you are, that is what ties True. me to being the king of the pirates. If you, you can't just have, I'm not gonna share notes with you. Get your own notes. Do your own homework. You know, you're you not wrong. Fag. You're not wrong. I just think in my mind it would be sort of like, uh, an awkward ending if they, like, sort of end up with Big Mom. Whereas I think it would be much more, like, fun to have them like escape in like a chase sequence that's like really high paced like we're like we're going through right now yeah i think they are on their way to escape right now and i don't think there will be any kind of like big meal like i had theorized or like friendship now currently my chips are on i think we you are going what? to see a, you know a what? big chase yeah what they're, what they're in the they're in the mini mini uh, they're in the they're in the uh, the the sub uh, the shark the, the submarine shark. shark boy yeah jim bay's um, outside with the fishman pirates what actually going to grab the ship they're all going to be the straw hats are going to be in the little thing and they're going to be oh shit our ship's fucked but we all are alive and we're safe and let's um, go and they run away 
I mean, possi- I, just for me, like, I don't see any way that they get they, out of this without physically oh. having the ship with them. But I guess you're saying Watatsumi would, like, carry it or yeah, something. Yeah, he would carry it. But uh, but then it would be like, oh, shit, we're all safe. But the Germa are fucked. And Sanji's yeah. like, uh, do we go back for them? Uh, I guess we do. Oh, God, and like the Germa like, went back for the Straw Hats. The the Straw Hats will go back for the Germa. We'll all just be going back for each other. Like, that'll be boring and that'll kill pacing. So, I God, I hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> Yeah, um, I think I think uh, Judge is going to to fight whatever the guy Judge is going to do something. Yeah, and the other Jerma is going to be like kidnapped. Maybe they'll just be <laughs> like big, big uh, more you know, like people in Big Mom's like funny little thing. Are uh, you the aware book that she has? Maybe, maybe. Are you aware of the meme that like King of Lightning, uh, our our friend and ally, um, uh, like <laughs> thinks that, or at least did. Maybe he's changed his tune now. But it was a big meme that like he thought that like Vin Smoke Judge was like one of the like top five most powerful characters in all of One Piece, like physically himself, or something uh, like that. I don't know. It was, uh, there's so maybe nothing we'll see to him. there's nothing to imply that that's true. He beat Sanji once. He beat Sanji once. Yeah, a lot kind of people of. beat Sanji once. So that's it. <laughs> I mean, that's why everyone laughs about it because it's funny and it doesn't make any sense. Um... <laughs> I mean, it could be interesting if George is like, this is, my, this is in my final form, you know. Ooh, <laughs> yes. And he goes like Super Saiyan 4, and he's like, a, oh he's my a god. Boy. He is a science guy. Maybe he's got like some Jekyll and Hyde formula that makes him super powerful or maybe, something. Maybe he's got like, maybe Caesar is, is still out there. He's flying around, and he's like, hey, give me, oh. that, give me that gas bomb. This fucking Caesar's, gas Caesar's them Caesar's a all. geezer. Caesar is That's out it. there, by the way. He's still alive, and we don't know yeah, where he went. he's just gone. He got his heart back, and he's fine. He's just, he, he's gone. Like, he escaped. So everyone who thought Caesar was going to join the crew, you can shut the fuck up now and never bring it up again, because <laughs> that was the most retarded thing I've ever heard. Um, even retarded -er than the idea of Carrot joining, which she will not, by the way. Get it through your fucking heads, people. <laughs> I see you in the Discord, still thinking Carrot's going to join. It's not going to happen. <laughs> need to get over it. But I'm a furry, Nate. I really want that sweet carrot puss in my fucking carrot? straw hats. Carrot is not joining the fucking crew. Carrot is not joining the crew, everybody. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> End of conversation. Okay, I have one last thing to say about this chapter, and I'm interested to hear what you think about it, Gib. So, you know how all this bullshit's happening with Big Mom's crazy dreams and stuff. And I know that you, you're not really into the theory that, like, what's happening is a literal dream and, like, not, not actually happening in real life. But in a desperate attempt of me to justify putting and her memory memory fruit, her memo memo, no me, um, what if the wedding cake was infused with memory powers by pudding that would change Big Mom's mind about, like, the straw hats or give her positive memories or in some way, you know, alter her state of mind via consuming these memories uh, in the cake. So it was sort of poisoned by pudding in a way that wouldn't affect the taste. Because right now, um, pudding has done literally nothing to justify her having the memo memo no me. It, like, literally, it all could have been done a million times easier. The only reason I think that isn't the case is yeah. the way she looks in this chapter. Just she sort just of looks like done. Looks crestfallen, done. like, oh god, She's, nobody's gonna know that Sanji did it. Not that's even her being Big Mom. sad about. Maybe she literally put the memory of her cooking with Sanji into the cake so Big Mom would see it, and then she'll uh, be like, "It's possible." We don't even know that the the powers work like that. The powers are the most ambiguous bullshit powers in the entire series. I'm just, I'm Oda. I am fucking sick of you writing in characters into your stories. With, like, especially Viola is the one that comes to mind, and now Pudding. You give them these, like, super hacks, overpowered devil fruits, and then you don't do anything with them. Fucking Viola, in Dress Rosa, had the, uh, it was like the, the look look fruit or whatever. And she could, her power was that she could literally observe with her eyes over 4,000 kilometers. She could look at anything happening on Dress Rosa at any time. Uh, an entire country, she could keep an eye on it at... Like, that is so powerful, that is so good, and would be so useful to any dictator like I completely like forgot Dauphin. who Viola was and what I she know, did. I know, because she doesn't do anything, goddammit! Uh, and now we've got, we've got Pudding here, this arc, who has done, like, literally nothing to justify this power. So, I swear to God, Oda, if you don't justify Pudding, I've said it before, I will fucking riot. If you do not end this arc with a satisfying moment for Pudding and her memo powers, I will flip my shit. She needs uh, a conclusion. Uh, at what point will you riot? Because, like, this this could be something that comes back way later oh, in okay. a different if arc. It, 
Would it be like as soon as this arc ends and she hasn't done anything? If the arc ends and nothing is apparent, I will riot. (laughs) But it will... If later on it turns out that there was a reason and we find out way later that she did something else that is interesting and good, then I will have been wrong to have rioted. But I will still do it. I will still do it. I'm going to tear this fucking ship to pieces. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. This shit happens. Yes. I can't this, help this, it. This ship isn't made of Adam wood. You can't regenerate. <laughs> I, I am Big Mom, only my madness is for good writing. I have to be sated with good writing, Oda. If I don't get my good writing, I will destroy... <laughs> everything i hold dear i will devour friends and family uh yes that that is my madness i am big mom for good memes <laughs> um don't fuck this one up Oda. give her a good conclusion <laughs> all right that's it that's my thoughts uh any anything to add any further comments to add here um the the I like I like the the little hill guy when when Big Mom has her arms eye wide open and looking at mm-hmm. all the things there's a little flat hill right at the bottom he's just sort of kind of chuffed <laughs> kind of interested he's just about a little it. pleased like, yeah, he's a little yeah. pleased like he's there's a little pleased really everyone else is hill. like they're really excited like wow and he's just sort of like yeah I'm yeah on a hill. see like hill is kind of like a low key guy he's got like a little <laughs> smile going but but Big Mountain over on the right there on the right side he's fucking losing his shit right now. But then again, if you look on the left, there's like a big cupcake man who's got like a little mm, face going on. See what I'm talking well, about? That's just because he's got like the, the frilled, like the cupcake holder is making his mouth look a funny cut of shape. <laughs> you know, you're not wrong. He tries also, to look happy, but he, he just looks worried and people say, stop looking worried. He's like, yeah. I can't help it. <laughs> also, shout out to that cloud on the top right. Not the sm- the one to the, like below the one. Just a little like, mm. I mean, it's got a little like three mouth, you know. I like that one. That's a good one. That's a is little. That that's Nepeta? a femme cloud. It's a femme cloud. Is this is Homestuck. This is Homestuck. Uh, she put the soul of Nepeta into that cloud uh, with her soul, soul fruit. Uh, all right, everybody. That's it. So no chapter next week. We're done here. No. Do you think the Straw Hats are all dead? The, the 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 flag in the water. I mean, this is just like when Sabo died. It's like the same shot as when Sabo, you know, quote unquote, died. Oh, Sabo was totally dead. No, he was fine. But Sabo's ship did get blown up. He just got saved by by dragon or something who was nearby. Um, so the Straw Hats are in trouble. The Straw Hats are in trouble. I really want to see this in the anime because I want to hear the music they write for this shit. Um, this is yeah. one thing I will tune in for. When oh, it, dude, when they make what it. if? Here's, yeah. a, here's a big old, like, this. that couldn't happen. Mm. Here's a big old c- thing. Uh, big Bird and what's-her-face, Stussy. <laughs> Stussy, yeah, yeah. They, they, where did they go, right? Where do they, they, they get out? They just left. They're, they're out. They just, they just left. What if they yeah. had, what if Stussy had, like, a secret uh, government submarine? And that's how she moves around. She's like, uh-huh. all right, uh, 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 call in, uh, let's go. And then they, like, they, she goes underneath and she get the straw hats and is like, dude, Pretty that good. was fucking sick. Um, and then she gives him a high five and then they go. That'll be cool. That's pretty good. I hope that's real. But why would... There's no reason for her to help them at all. She's like their <laughs> enemy. Okay, last point. Oh, but it would be funny. Here's a real point. Uh, Stussy, queen of the pleasure quarter. Pussy, queen of a woman's pleasure quarter. <laughs> all right, thanks for listening. Think, <laughs> I don't think you needed to add anything to that. I had to add that. Thank you for listening, everybody. That was uh, chapter 900 of One Piece. You may have heard of it. We will be back not next week, but the week after with chapter 901, which I guarantee you 100% will be called the ninth. No, I'm lying. I'm, I don't it'll know. It'll be the 901th. The 901. That's the, the, the 9.01. Oh, that's what I meant. That's what I meant. I meant that this chapter would be called the 900th. That's what I said. Uh, I didn't say anything wrong. The 900th chapter. That's what it is. <laughs> that's, what it, that's what it is, and I was right. All right. We'll see you next two week, everybody. I'll see you then. Bye. Oh, go to go to our Patreon. And oh, that's right. Fucking Patreon. Money uh, join the Discord, and... the Pod Discord. Patron us a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars. If you want to get to the secret chosen land, you got to give us money on Patreon. That's how it works. That's a that's a promise, and you got it. Bye bye. Goodbye. We always forget the the, the Patreon. <laughs>